A rare black fungus that invades the brain is being increasingly seen in vulnerable patients in India, including those with COVID-19. The infection is very serious and has a high mortality rate, and it often requires surgery and lots of drugs to stop it. This disease is caused by a group of molds that live throughout the world in environments including soil and on plants. It can be acquired in hospitals, and transplant patients are particularly at risk. The mold can be found on bed sheets, travel through ventilation systems, or transmitted in other ways. The fungus can get into your sinuses and deposit there, and it can get into the airways as well. If your immune system is not able to fight it off, it can attack the base of the brain, and this can be very serious and problematic to treat. The fungus is particularly prevalent in the dust in the soil, so anywhere earthworks are being excavated can be a source of potential infection. The fungal spores are usually inhaled, and while most people's immune systems can fend them off, people with conditions such as diabetes or leukemia that weaken the immune system or those who take medications that lower the body's ability to fight germs such as steroids are prone to the spores developing into an infection. The condition is usually very rare, with about 500 cases a year estimated to occur in the U.S. prior to the pandemic. So, why is it appearing now in India? Well, COVID is now creating the perfect conditions for the infection to take hold. People's immune systems are being compromised by the virus, and the mold is particularly prevalent in patients who also have diabetes. High-dose steroids are given to people with COVID if they end up in intensive care, as the steroids help to treat the inflammation, but the steroids unfortunately also suppress your immune system. Health systems are under intense pressure in India, and crowded and cramped environments are giving the fungus more chance to spread. Symptoms of the fungus include pain and redness around the eyes and nose, a fever, headache, coughing, vomit with blood in it, black and bloody nasal discharge, pain on one side of the face and in the sinuses, blackish discoloration over the nose, tooth pain, and painful and blurred vision. Fluid and tissue samples may be taken to confirm a diagnosis. The fungus is expensive and difficult to treat and has a mortality rate upwards of 50%. Patients with suppressed immune systems are often placed in positive pressure rooms when they are admitted to the hospital to reduce the risk of acquiring infections like the black fungus because by increasing the pressure in a room so that the air flows out into the corridor, there's less likely to be fungus or other things circulating in the air that the patient can breathe in. However, a positive pressure room is the last place you want to put a COVID patient as it can spread the virus, making the black fungus harder to prevent. To treat the fungus, patients can be given antifungal drugs that can be quite toxic. Ultimately, it may require surgery to clear out the source of the fungus, which is usually in the sinuses and in the back of the throat. The fungal material will need cut out, and this can be in very delicate places, like the base of the brain. The advice is to limit your risk of catching the fungus by urging people to wear shoes, long trousers, long sleeve shirts, and gloves while handling soil, moss, or fertilizers. People should also maintain personal hygiene, ensure if they have diabetes that it's well-controlled, and medical professionals should discontinue immune-suppressing drugs such as steroids as soon as they're able to. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you want more natural-based remedies, then check out The Lost Book of Remedies. It's a hugely popular book on the healing power of plant medicine. And you can check our review or watch a video explaining more about the book by clicking on the link within this screen or in the description below. You won't be disappointed.